Hey animal enthusiasts and herpetologists, it's Joelle here and in this video I want to talk about the horned lizards found in Southern California. Let's get into it. There are three species of horned lizards found in Southern California. One of the most common is the desert horned lizard, Phrynosoma platyrhinos. These guys are typically found in arid lands such as sand dunes or flats and rocky dry washes throughout the Mojave and Colorado deserts. They are often associated with creosote, cacti, and other small shrubs. Their primary method of defense is their cryptic coloration or camouflage, which they use to blend in with their environment while remaining motionless. They can only run short distances, making them easy to pick up. Their colors can range from tan, beige, reddish orangish, to even dark gray and black, depending on the soil and environment. These guys are medium-sized lizards with a snout vent length of 2.5 to 3.75 inches. Males are smaller than females, have enlarged postanal scales, and femoral pores. They are notable for their horns that extend from the back of their head. On the sides of the body, there is only one row of scales as opposed to similar species, which we'll get into later. They also only have one row of slightly enlarged scales on the throat. Their diet consists of 90% harvester ants, with the remainder being smaller invertebrates and even some plant material. The next horn lizard is Blainville's horn lizard, Phrynosoma blainvillii. This species is found more on the coastal regions of California in foothills, grasslands, woodlands, semi-arid mountains, and chaparral with open areas and loose soil. These lizards are flat-bodied and oval-shaped with a snout vent length of around 2.5 to 4.5 inches long. They can be brownish, yellow, gray with reddish horns on the head, and dark blotches on the body. Just like the desert horn lizard, their primary method of defense is camouflage while remaining motionless, but they can run short distances. They can also inflate with air to become larger and harder to swallow while moving their head side to side to jab the predator with its horns. The last resort is to spray the predator with blood from the corners of its eyes, which has shown to be mainly canid induced to repel coyotes, foxes, or dogs. Aside from location, these guys can be distinguished from desert horn lizards due to having two or three rows of enlarged scales on the throat, as well as having two rows of pointed fringe scales on the sides of the body. This species has been listed by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife as a species of special concern due to habitat loss from urban development and agriculture, as well as the spread of non-native Argentine ants, which outcompete their food source of harvester ants. At one point, these guys were exploited for the pet trade until commercial collecting was banned in 1981. Because of their very specific diet, they do not live very long in captivity, which is why you should not try to keep one as a pet from the wild. On top of their conservation status, we should try to support efforts to increase their populations in the wild. The last lizard I will talk about is also a species of special concern. This is the flat-tailed horned lizard, Phrynosoma micallii. I have not come across one in the wild and only have these specimens to view thanks to my herpetology class. These guys have a limited range in the Colorado desert from the Coachella Valley south through the Imperial Valley in sandy desert, hard pan, and gravel flats. Their behavior is similar to other horned lizards but can run quicker and bury itself in loose sand. Their diet also primarily consists of ants. The distinguishing characteristic for these guys is the dark stripe down the middle of the back which no other horned lizard has. They also have two central horns behind the head which are long and very sharp. They also tend to have much longer and narrow spines on the lower jaw compared to other horned lizards. But yeah guys, so those are the three horned lizards found in Southern California, as well as how you can distinguish them if you come across one. If you liked this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.